But here's one that's amazing. The last point of the lecture is April the 25th in this astounding book. We have this book, but it's not for sale at any price. I want to show you what's in it. Every page, over 400 pages, every page has a different full color lesson on science. And a single page, an astounding excerpt in science. And at the bottom, it gives a scripture giving glory to the Creator. Pearls in paradise. Here is April 25th, design. We're talking about miniature marvels. It is often stated that belief in God is a leap of faith. Yet, the Bible from the Old Testament, Psalm 19, 1 through 4, to the New Testament, Romans 1, 18 through 23, clearly states that the reality of God's existence is absolutely apparent to everyone, everywhere, simply by observing the creation. In other words, creation could only exist if a creator made it. September 2013, Journal Science describes a set of perfectly formed gears. Are those perfectly formed gears? Our engineers would say so. Described a set of perfectly formed gears at the base of a lowly two millimeter long leaf hopper, just that long, nymph. This creature has the ability to jump several inches using a mighty thrust from its hind legs that propels the creature with an acceleration of nearly 400 Gs. Fighter pilots risk blackout if accelerating much past 10 G. And this morning we had the F-35. We should have asked him about that, but he'd confirmed it before. Uh, anything uh, past 10 Gs, uh, you risk blackout. But this is the equivalent, or this accelerates at nearly 400 Gs. This feat would be equivalent to a man accelerating from zero to 200 miles per hour in less than a second and jumping 400 feet in a single bound. Superman. What makes the leafhopper's feet even more amazing is that the nerve impulses cannot travel fast enough to allow both legs to push off in a coordinated fashion, meaning that with every hop, the insect would spiral out of control, this way, that way, every direction. So how did the Creator solve this problem? He added a set of interlocking gears to the base of the leaphopper's legs so that they are forced to move in exact coordination. How could evolution produce that? But he's got to produce it instantly or you lose your leaphopper. Wow! This design is currently being studied as a prototype for new kinds of high-speed directional gears. The marvels of the microscopic world and the wonders of God's creativity never cease. The belief that such a gear would make itself via random changes over time is equivalent to believing that a gear could be produced in a machine shop by random hammering on a piece of metal. When we see microscopic gears solving a leap hopper's leap, we stand in awe of our Creator. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork. Day unto day utter the speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Psalm 19, 1 through 3. Now, this book, every page has another lesson as good as that, but it's not for sale at any price. So, how do I get one? We have special arrangements with the Ministry of Education in Fiji. I've been there 48 times. We're working directly with the Ministry of Education. They are permitting us, at our expense, to present one of these to every high school student in the entire nation. 
they have the deer program. As the bell rings each morning, five days a week, the bell rings and deer begins. Drop everything and read. So what do they read? The newspaper? What little mimeograph materials they have? Some bring their Bibles to read. Now they're reading this. So how do we finance that? Do you know how much the paper alone cost? Jack and Rexella Van Impe paid for that and the first application, but we have to, the first printing, but then we have to carry it on. The paper alone to produce enough for the high school students of one generation, paper alone was $300,000. So to keep this going to the students, and I wired off some money yesterday for every person that contributes a minimum of $50, you get a book and you get a certificate that says that you have helped perform the ministry of a missionary. You have to be a missionary to get one of these books. That is, you have to help distribute these by contributing. So for everyone who contributes how much? $50. You get a book to take home and a certificate that you're helping make this possible.